<laughs> All right, Wilson. Still jamming the beats pill. And today's video is going to be about the Beats Pill versus the JBL Charge 5. Can the Beats Beats the JBL Charge 5? That track, though. What do you think about that track? It's a good track. Can you see me driving to that track? Yeah. Oh, that's my picture me rolling track right there. Got the roll down window, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> roll that joint down, be like, <laughs> you gotta roll it up real smooth. <laughs> oh man. That track just jams, man. All right, that's enough, that's enough. Raylan, you have a good time? You got rice in your beard, man. Raylan just ate lunch. He should be asleep. I don't want to play with this right now. Get out of here, man. Zitin. Zitin. Okay, there you go. You're going to be there and you're going to be good because I'm, I'm working over here. Let me take my glasses off, man. Y'all ain't used to seeing me with glasses. Anyways, what did I just tell you? <laughs> what did I just tell you? Get out of here, man. Okay, so Beats Pill 2024 edition versus the JBL Charge 5. JBL Charge 5 has been around for a hot minute. I think we're rolling up on two years now. JBL, you are overdue to give us a Charge 6. What's up with that? Because everybody knows that the JBL Charge has been my favorite kind of overall Bluetooth speaker. Uh, that was up until the, what was it, the Sony Outfield 1? Yeah. I don't know why I love that speaker so much. I just do, bro. <laughs> it just, it's a great speaker. It's a great speaker, man. It's just, I don't know, I like it. But that does not mean the JBL Charge 5 is like, you know, bad. It just means that I like something else. This speaker is pound for pound, still one of the greatest to ever do it. So how will it stand up against the new 2024 Beats Pill? Well, the 2024 Beats Pill has stood up against the Sony Oldfield 1 and got beat at higher volumes. At lower volumes, it kind of trounces on the, the, uh, the Oldfield 1. And then last week, we compared it to the JBL Flip 6. Yeah. And what was the outcome of that? Uh, I think it's the same situation. I mean, lower volume, the pill's better, but higher yeah. volume, the flip is gonna beat it out. That is because this speaker kind of falls apart when you turn it up past 50%. Today, we've been playing around with it, and this, the story continues. It's just not as bad. I don't know if this is one of those speakers you gotta kind of break in first or not, but it wasn't as bad today to me. No, it sounded pretty good today. Yeah, but then you turn on this Charge 5, and then you get something different. You get Charge 5 stuff, you know what I'm saying? So. Let's talk about some specky stuff. This is not the technical tech channel. This is the untechnical tech channel. So as far as specs, I usually don't really give a damn, but we're gonna talk about some stuff today because the Charge 5 is literally called the Charge because you can charge off of it. You can sip some of this 20 hour battery life or up to 20 hour battery life. Uh, you can sip that and charge up your phone, your GoPro, your smartwatch or whatever, but you are eating into that up to 20 hours of worth of battery life. Now that is probably rated at 20 to 30% volume to get up to 20 hours of battery life, but the fact still remains, right? But then you put that up against the Beats Pill, which is by far, I think the king of battery life at this point. Can you think of a speaker that has more? For that size, size, no. No, I, I think this is probably the king. We're getting up to 24 hours of battery life at low volume, which makes sense because you shouldn't be playing this thing loud in the first place. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? You're probably gonna get that. <laughs> <laughs> but then when we talk about charge and how I talked about how you can charge off of it, um, I'm not even sure if you can actually charge off of the Beats Pill. You should be able to, like this should be, you know, unidirectional. You should be able to charge in or out with this single USB port because this speaker does not even have a speaker booty. What do you think about speakers with no speaker booty? Like uh, I like to be able to open something up in the back, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, each so teach their own, okay? <laughs> Dude, it's different not being able to open up the speaker. Dude, look, you just peel that back and you got something. You know what I'm saying? It's just not like naked. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel? It makes you feel a little weird that you're running around all exposed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to cover your goodies up, you know, in there. You got your USB-A port right there. And then you can charge out or whatever and boom. And you cover that up and now your business is covered. 
But that's as far, that's the, as far as battery life and sharing the battery life, that's as far as that goes. <clears throat> in regards to uh, like, uh, not build quality, but durability, we're talking IP67 on both ends of the spectrum here, which is great because water and dust resistance is important because both of these, you probably could take them to the beach. I don't recommend you use the Beats pill outside very much because I don't feel like it's a really good performer. However, the Charge 5, dude, you can take this thing anywhere. I don't care if you climb a Mount Everest, uh, you could be in a canoe. You could be noodling. This is a good noodling speaker, Wilson. Oh God. You could noodle with this thing. <laughs> you could. Uh, you could, I don't know, man, you could do a lot of things with this, man, and it's gonna sound great either way. So as far as durability, they're, they're both equal. Uh, but I will say that if you actually drop one of these, the one that's gonna, uh, when you pick it up, the one that's gonna still look pretty is the Charge 5 because it's got mesh all around it with neoprene slash silicone slash rubber uh, uh, surrounding the, the radiator housings here, where the, um, the Beats pill, it's just got a coating on the outside, which is nice. It feels super slick and nice. But that face, that front grill, that's all metal right there. So you're gonna beat that up. And this is a pretty speaker. So just set it down, man, and let it do what speakers do. You see how nice it looks there with the aesthetics? You know, you just set it in your house and kind of forget about it. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to build quality, it's pretty much on the same level. You got premium build quality with a JBL speaker, JBL build quality, that's a thing. Can we just put a stamp on that? Definitely. JBL is synonymous with build quality. I'm not going to ever deny that. Then you got Beats. Beats, pretty much synonymous with build quality, I think. Who are you? You know, maybe. Have you ever experienced a real Beats product? Because this is really my first one that I really experienced. You know what I'm saying? Many years ago, back before Apple even owned them. Really? Was yeah. it quality products back then? Uh, as far for, as what, build? for what it was. I mean, I don't know about nowadays. <laughs> It feels like money. What do you think? Hold on to it, man. Was that, does that feel like 150 bucks? Okay, yeah, it kind of does actually, yeah. See, you see I, what I'm saying? Yeah, I have to agree. Yeah. Does this feel like 180 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, think so? I think so. That's All a nice right. weight to it. The reason why I said that is because respectively, $180 retail and $150 retail. And I really, Raylan, can I help you? What do you need, sir? Let me give you some attention. What do you need? You know what you need? You need five across your lips. You need five across your lips. Look, it is not time. How come every time I shoot a video, you want to play with this thing? We're not doing this. <laughs> not right now. Look what you did. You made a mess on my floor. You got little strings all over the place. All right. Anyways, <clears throat> here we go. $150 retail. 179 retail and I just checked Amazon and they are both retail price. I was expecting this to be a little cheaper at this point since it's so old, but I guess since Prime Day recently passed, they jacked up the price again to make you feel like you got a good deal. <laughs> That's what they do with these sales, man. They jack the price up and then they lower it right after to make you feel like you got a good deal. But other than that, is there anything else to talk about? Mm, portability. One is naturally bigger. The Charge 5 is in a bigger uh, fighting class. I always talk about this with speakers. You always want me to compare different speakers, right? But some speakers are in different weight classes. There's weight classes in combat sports for a reason. People will get severely hurt when they compete outside of their weight class, when they're going up. When you go down, you're guaranteed favorite to win because you're in a higher weight class. And that's what we're experiencing here too. This is a bigger speaker, different class of speaker. So it should win against the smaller, yet mighty Beats pill. Oh man, portability wise, I don't know. Cause this one is still, it's, even though it's bigger, it's still very, very portable. You could pack this in a bag. It's gonna take up about six pair of socks worth of room and it's got a little weight to it, but you could take it with you in a bag on a trip. This one, what do you think? Two, three pair of socks worth? Probably. And then a little roll of underwear or something. <laughs> so when you pack, do you fold your underwear, ball them up, or do you? you I roll them up. You roll them? I roll them up. Okay, Wilson is an underwear roller, okay? <laughs> Why are you supposed to be like that? <laughs> Wilson rolls his underwear. Oh man, fun fact. I roll my drawers too, man. Let's just get some to All the right. underwear. All right. <laughs> I do. I roll my shit up, bro. <laughs> Anyways, but that's how these things would pack and compare as far as size and portability. And along, along with that, you do get the, the built-in lanyard on the, uh, the Beats pill. So now the only thing we need to discuss is sound. Now, I played a little bit in the beginning of the video for you of the, uh, the Beats pill. This thing, seriously, it thumps. 
at 50% and below. You're gonna love it. You even get some mids and highs, but the mids are very subdued with this speaker. It's, it's mostly bass and treble, whereas you get more of a general sound with some extra thump with a JBL Charge 5. Now, when we raise the volume, you remember when we raised the volume past 50%, this one, oh my God, it was horrible. Does what it does, you know what I'm saying? It was <laughs> Where this one, the JBL Charge Five, you do lose bass, but the music is still intact. You still get a full sound when you raise the volume past fifty percent. And by nature, it's just much louder at any level. So if I put them both at twenty percent, the JBL is going to be louder. If I put them both at fifty percent, the JBL is going to be louder. And conversely, going up the ladder as far as volume goes. But Wilson, you got anything to say? Uh, the EQ. Each, oh, the app. All right, so that's important to some people. I don't know what's wrong with you cats to feel like you need to EQ literally everything. Dude, these companies, they spend like years developing the sound of their product. Um, but with Apple, or I should say Beats, you get an app. You do get app support. So this thing can be updated. It can be connected to two speakers for either kind of a surround sound or even stereo sound but that's about as far as your app experience goes. You cannot EQ this thing at all via the app. Now, if you got an Android phone, you can go into the guts of your Android phone and EQ it that way, but as far as app, app support, not happening. JBL was nice enough to give, give us a decent app with, okay, it's not a decent app, it's literally just an EQ. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to give you something, JBL, but you need to work on that app experience. JBL gives us an app with a three, brand e, three band EQ front and center. And that is plenty. If you wanna just raise up the bass one or two notches, go for it. Treble, mid, same thing. Uh, you can also stereo pair another JBL Charge 5, or you can, is it, oh, I forget which one it is, is it Party Cat? Party Boost, it's Party Boost. You can Party Boost via the app, or you can press this Party Boost button on, is it Party Boost? It's a Party Link? No, nah, it's boost. definitely a Party Link. It's gotta be Party Boost. One of you cats gonna check me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Party Boost. Between Sony, and Soundcore and JBL, I always get it confused. It's like Party Boost, Party Cast, Party Connect. They all do similar things. Yeah, it's the same doggone thing, but multiple speakers. So if you got like 20 homeboys, right? And all your 20 homeboys got a JBL speaker, period, right? That has Party Boost. Y'all can go at it and just connect them all. But other than that, that's pretty much the, the physical and I would say uh, like technical differences between them. Now it's time to hear some music, man. Wilson, you want to give him some sound clips? Let's do it. All right, homie, let's go. Yeah. 